Welcome back. A recent Supreme Court decision is raising questions about what the rights of religious groups mean for LGBTQ rights. Last week, the court ruled unanimously in favor of Catholic Social Services, which wanted to be exempt from Philadelphia's non-discrimination law. That law would have required the agency to allow LGBTQ couples to adopt. There's a lot to unpack here, so we asked our 9 News legal expert, Whitney Trailer, to join us. Hey, Whitney, good morning. Good morning, Natasha. Good morning, everyone. So this case was decided on complex constitutional issues. Can you tell us about the legal issues in this case that are in play and why the high court ruled the way that it did? Yes, these are complex issues. And I will say, you know, we come on week after week and talk about some of these complex legal issues and we only have a few minutes. And so we go in these broad overviews, but these are really important issues that we as citizens should really understand. So even if we just touch into it, uh, I would encourage folks to look further and to really try and understand these issues. And so here, this one is a complex legal issue and it's really dealing with the First Amendment religious freedoms and specifically the free exercise clause. And so what happened was in Philadelphia, the city council passed a resolution against discrimination guised as religious freedom. And so the city eventually stopped making referrals to uh, Catholic Social Services, which is a religious adoption agency. And so the agency sued saying, hey, this is a, a violation of our free exercise clause. It's pre preventing us from exercising our religion. And the lower courts agreed or disagreed with them, but the Supreme Court actually ruled, yes, Philadelphia violated the First Amendment free exercise clause when they stopped working with the agency. And they ruled unanimously in their favor. And so, um, that's the status of it. That's the uh, outcome of the ruling. Yeah, it's very interesting. What does this decision mean long term? Well, the legal scholars are split because the case was very narrow in its ruling. So the court honestly could have ruled that the social service providers that were contracted by the government are broadly exempt from non-discrimination laws, which would have given them just all out uh, the right to discriminate against LGBTQ folks. But what they did was they made it a very narrow ruling just really on this issue. Now, six justices did suggest in, in um, concurring opinions that they were open to reevaluating the case and possibly giving uh, religious objectors even more constitutional rights than they have now. Um, but essentially, right now, it was very limited to this issue, and it could expand um, if the court hears other cases like this to the point where they could reject families with different religions, divorced families, even single parents based on religious reasons, they could prevent them from adopting. Mm -hmm. I mean, just a few years ago, the justices ruled in favor of a Colorado baker who refused to make a wedding cake for a same-sex couple. Is this ruling comparable to that case? That's a great comparison, and yes, I think it is, because in the Masterpiece uh, Cake Shop case in 2018, the court ruled in favor of the baker who refused to make a same-sex uh, couple uh, cake. And But the court didn't answer the broader question of whether the baker had a religious right to refuse to serve the couple. They instead focused on the procedure and saying that the Colorado Civil Rights Commission was hostile to the baker's rights. So both of these cases fo focused on process, and the, they're dealing with essentially the same issue as it deals with religious freedom, but they didn't answer the broader question. And interesting, Justice Alito wrote a 77-page uh, concurring opinion, and he criticized the narrowness of the court's ruling. And he said the decision might as well have been written on the dissolving paper sold in magic shops, because uh, the city can easily sidestep this decision just by getting rid of the exemption system. So he was critical of the narrowness of the um, decision. Yeah, a lot of complex issues at play here. Whitney, appreciate you coming on the show, breaking it down for us. It's good to be here. I'll see you all tomorrow, same time, same channel. See you soon. <laughs>